We're gonna press on, and we're gonna have the hap, hap, happiest Christmas since Bing Crosby tap dance with Danny fucking K. Hey guys, welcome back to another review, and today I am reviewing White Christmas, starring Bing Crosby, Danny Kay, Rosemary Clooney, and Vera Ellen, Vera Ellen, and was directed by Michael Curitz, Curitz, and is about a successful song and dance team become romantically involved with a sister act, and the two team up to save a, the falling Vermont in The great state of Vermont will not apologize for its cheese. Of their former commanding general. Okay, let's talk about positives. Um, easily, the best part of this movie are the dance sequences. Obviously, it has Bing Crosby, uh, Danny Kay, Rosemary Clooney, and Vera Ellen. The dance sequences and song numbers are gonna be uh, are gonna be good, and they are. There are a lot of them, and they are all very good, very good. Um, some of them are even hilarious. Um, I'm not gonna spoil it. But some of the dance sequences in this movie are awesome and very well choreographed. And obviously, um, the acting is really good. Bing, um, I really do love Bing Crosby. He is uh, one of my favorite uh, singers and entertainers. Um, and uh, <clears throat> he's just a, a pleasant, pleasant to listen to and pleasant to watch in this film. Danny Kaye is also really good. And Rosemary Clooney, who... Who's fun fact? I think it was her grandson or her. So she's related to George Clooney somehow. I, she's related to George Clooney, and I like George Clooney, and she's really good in this movie. Um, Vera Ellen is also very good in this movie as well, and um, uh, all the song numbers. I know I said it; they're very well done. Um, okay, sorry. I thought my brother was gonna come in playing the Soviet Union theme again. So sorry about that in the last ep in the last video I did. Um. I had no control over that. Um, but anyway, yeah, the song numbers are very good. And and I think this is the movie, or was one of the movies that popularized the song Dreaming of a White Christmas. One of the one of uh, the very popular Christmas songs ever. And probably one of my favorite Bing Crosby songs, too. Um, and also, I think I might actually get a white Christmas where I'm at because... It's snowing right now, actually. As I'm filming this, it's snowing absolutely right now. Um, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully I do have a white Christmas. Oh, boy. All right, um, and uh, another thing is, is that this movie is actually very funny. Uh, because uh, The actors play off themselves very well. Bing Crosby and Danny Kaye's chemistry is excellent, especially with uh, Rosemary Clooney and Vera, and Vera Ellen. They're also, they're, all their chemistry is very good. Um, and they, and, you know, they play off the comedy very well, which makes the movie funny, huh? Um, so yeah, yeah, um, it's a very entertaining movie, it's a very funny movie, it's a very light-hearted movie. Um, and another thing I like is the set pieces, I really like the sets, they, they look incredible. Um, <clears throat> and I do like the World War II setting, me being, uh, Kind of me li liking that the the style of that time, um, even though that time, to be honest, was pretty terrible since they had World War II going on, which this movie does have World War II stuff, but there's no actual battle sequences, which thank God that would be totally in inconsistent. I mean, just imagine it being like happy go lucky dance sequences, and then it just automatically turns into Saving Private Ryan. It just wouldn't work. Thank God they didn't. Add, um, there are no war sequences in this movie, which I'm fine with, because this is uh, a very light-hearted movie, and possibly one of the best movies to watch if you want to get into the Christmas spirit, which happens every year. We watch this movie every Christmas Eve. Haven't missed it. Haven't missed it since. Um, and every time I watch it, I enjoy it, except for one small part. I'm going to get into my negatives now. The very... Uh, Alright, there is one aspect of the movie that I do not like. It's a subplot um, of, a of like a misunderstanding, and it kind of goes on for a while. And, and it's, to be honest, it kind of makes the film a little too long. Because this movie is like, like two hours, and I wouldn't mind that, but at times the movie, you feel it. You feel the runtime. And um, So, yeah, that's... That's my biggest problem with this movie is that of the the 
the slow pacing at times, the film is a little too long, maybe 15 minutes too long. And um, even though the ending is great, the ending is great. Um, but it, I do think that they held on a certain subplot a little too long, in my opinion. In my opinion, if they would have, uh, like, maybe, they, didn't have, they don't have to cut out the whole subplot, just shorten it a bit. Um, now, I understand stuff like that doesn't uh, get resolved in one conversation, but, uh, but for the pacing's sake, I think they could have implied that it went on for a while instead of showing it going on for a while. I, I think it kind of, you know, goes on a bit too long, and they're like, all right, I get it. Just, just explain everything, and let's move on, and let's, get to the fina- and let's get to the finale. Let's get to another awesome dance sequence, which this movie definitely has a ton, and those are definitely the highlights. That and the uh, excellent uh, performances from Bing Crosby, Danny, Danny Kaye, Rosemary Clooney, and Vera Ellen. All very good performances in this movie. Um, and... Uh, all right, one more thing in my positives is uh, uh, there's an ending song with the uh, um, <clears throat> with a general, and that's that was very very touching. It's very good, very good. Okay, let's conclude this. So, in conclusion, White Christmas is a fantastic movie to watch on Christmas. It's a it's a it's a great movie. It's a great Christmas movie, and it's definitely a Christmas tradition to watch this one every year. I am going to give. White Christmas, an A, and is a classic. So if you've seen White Christmas, what did you think about it? And if you like this review, give it a like, and I will see you guys next time.